September is National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, and this weekend, the Hope in Harlem Conference will encourage mental health care among young people through sports. Jesse Mitchell is our reporter covering Harlem and shows us how an innovative program at a church continues to break the stigma for many in the community. Casey Little started playing softball when she was five after watching Jackie Robinson videos online. After that, I just fell in love with it. I just felt like I could be, um, I could be the first woman in MLB. Her best friend lost his dream of playing in the NBA this summer when he was killed by another group of teens in the streets of Harlem. I check on his mom, I text her. She told me I have a good day on purpose every day. So that's what I try to do. Now a junior at St. Raymond Academy, Little is determined to look forward to competing in college, complete with mental fortitude, fortified at Thrive, the teen mental health program at First Corinthian Baptist Church's Hope Center Clinic, under the leadership of Dr. Lena Green. We have good street cred, right, with our teens. They're telling their friends, hey, this is a safe space and a safe environment to talk about your feelings. While teaching leadership skills and spreading the word about the 988 National Suicide Hotline, the clinic also conducts community community assessments to gauge the growth of participants. We get a sense from the parents, our children's grades have increased. We see that they come home more respectful. Um, we see that they're asking for permission or they're willing and open to engage in conversations with us. To expand the helping hand, the clinic's Hope in Harlem conference will bring professional athletes alongside leaders in medicine and education. One of the program's champions is Mount Sinai's Director of Mental Health Equity Research, Dr. Sydney Hankerson. Men are more likely to die by suicide than women. And so our hope is that in, by partnering with sports, by partnering with the church, we'll be able to engage men and reduce stigma among men so we can save lives. The conference will also connect the clinic with a coalition convening churches around the country that want to replicate this model. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS News, New York. And the Hope in Harlem Conference at First Corinthian Baptist Church takes place on Saturday from 10 to 1, followed by a wellness street fair until 4.